Hey everyone, Cody here, and today I've got a real quick video for you. I'm just going to show you a scrape painting I did a while back. Um, as always, we tape it down just so that it doesn't move, and it gives it some nice clean edges when we go to put it away, and so it doesn't stick to the board. Talked about that before, so I won't talk about it much longer. Today's painting is a scraped painting that we'll be doing with uh, five separate colors. We'll be using red, and then we'll be using orange. We'll be using dark blue, almost a midnight blue, and then light blue, and essentially, and then eventually white. Um, the scrape we'll actually be doing with a plastic trowel, and you can see that I'm just kind of carrying the paint all the way through the painting. Now, one thing that you have to do with the trowel is you kind of have to give it like uh, an even consistency like you have to give it an even pressure sorry um, when you do the scrape here's the problem every time that you go over that set of colors especially with gloss enamel it starts to turn gray so you have to be careful how many times you scrape a painting the problem here is that i didn't use enough paint what i should have done is put some some paint like at the end and then some in the middle so that when it carries through to the middle it actually pulls that with it but I didn't do that, and that's why it's stopping part of the way. Or if I had colored the background a specific color, like just a solid color, then I also could have avoided it there as well. Uh, but essentially what I'm doing here is just kind of trying to fill in the gaps. And again, one of the issues is that uh, every time I scrape it, I lose some of that definition of the color. So the padding was just to kind of fill in the gaps, but you'll see that I go over it one last time just to kind of smooth it out. Um, and then that's pretty much it. So once I've got that smoothed out, uh, painting was done. So that's it, guys. I will catch you guys in another video. Take care.